So, congratulations on your new show. Thank you. Both of you guys. Yeah. Uh, what made you guys decide to kind of delve into the reality TV world? Oh, man. Well, as our family, we've been, we've been approached probably for over, man, over a decade to do a show about our lives just because, you know, me being in the industry for so long, people also said that there was a relationship between my mom and I and that whole, my mom's got a lot of character and she's Cuban and she's got the accent and she's a businesswoman. So that alone kind of like made people really curious. But then when they found out that I had two beautiful sisters at the time, like growing up, we were all living together. And since then we've all kind of like grown independently you know I think this time in our lives was the perfect time for us to do this show because we're all figuring out what we want to do with our lives like there, there are things that every day it's like an everyday process but we're hustlers we love hard we're really passionate and I think it was the perfect time even for my sisters it's like the opportunity for them to step out of the shadows of the Christina Million thing and let them do them things like their thing they're beautiful like well you, you talk about it are you happy we're doing this yes oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean I think it was just time to kind of show, I think people want to see what happens behind the scenes. People want to know, you know, how your family reacts to somebody being in the spotlight. And we're a great example of it. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, and I could never understand, you know, I can understand from the outside, you know, the, the outside of, like, as far as being like a family member, like what my, my family tells me about my sisters, like, oh, so-and-so thought it was you, or this person, like, you know, they refer to me as, oh, just your sister, but they have names. This is Danielle Million, mm -hmm. our sister Lizzie, who's fashionably late today. <laughs> you know, everybody has like a different role that they play in our family, but we all come together and we're very passionate, very loving, and crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes good TV. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What can we expect on the season? Oh, man. What can you not expect? <laughs> you can expect laughs, tears. Yes, there's drama, there's comedy, there's really passionate, heated arguments, there's us really kind of, um, for me, like I'm taking control of my career in a lot of ways and so it's not necessarily a role reversal with my mom, but it's more so like gaining like a respect and a partnership with my mom and me delving back into my music career as well as just like us as a family. It's we, a real family. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a real You're family. Some, so we did some know, stuff yeah. that is probably out of the box for us that we were like, okay, you know, we might not do this, you know. There are things that we, we conquered fears. Like I sang at the at the Dodger Stadium. Like yeah. I've awesome. said for years, no, 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 to mm -hmm. about singing the national anthem to anything. And when the opportunity came up, I was like, you know what? It's time to do this because what's the reason I'm not doing it? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm worried. Of, you know, well, this is going to sound right. I'm, I just too many excuses, and it's time to just like face those excuses and get them out the way. Yeah. Yeah. And just go forward with it and do it. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many things that. I never thought I would do that I actually did on the show wow. and things that I also that we also did that usually we would do when private but when the cameras are on <laughs> I think everyone has like a little bit of crazy in their family and it all happens behind closed doors and you know you get into the fights and you talk the next day and maybe you'll talk to a workmate about it or something yeah. but we're exposed so oh yeah you see it all yes awesome. <laughs> so what was it like having um, cameras follow you around all the time oh boy what was that like boo -boo? draining and scary crazy yes. in the beginning we were kind of reserved because you're not used to it you're like you're very protective of yourself protective of each other you know you don't want the other person to kind of look bad but then at the end of the day it's like these are people's personalities that's what makes us special you know we're not perfect so eventually you get used to the cameras but to be honest with you in the beginning it's like it's scary it's draining like it's stressful Yes, yeah, so you're constantly, I feel like you're tense, tense the entire time. But the more we got to even be around our crew, you forget they're there. Yeah. I think at first I was scared. Even just the crew is judging me. They're yeah. watching me in my life. And already that's one step one. Now an audience is going to be exactly. judging me. Exactly. <laughs> so eventually we let the, go of the crew, but we've yet to see what the audience is yeah. going to think of me. And we have to like let the, you know, at this point, now that we've gotten it all done, we've, we've accepted the fact that it's done. What is done is done. People are going to say whatever the heck that they want to say. They're going to judge and everything. But at this point, it's entertainment. And even uh, for us, it's like we've already been through that. We lived through whatever happened at that time. Like, let's let that go. And now we're moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the show's going to put your family in the public eye, like, more so than ever before. Yeah. Uh, how will you deal with maybe some tabloids that might write full stories about you? <laughs> how will you deal with that? Because that will come, probably. I'm used to it. I mean, I'm used to people writing false stuff about mm -hmm. me all the time. I mean, this is... 
years and years and years, they're used to seeing that the same thing happen with me. But it's only ever been about you. Exactly. I'm curious to see how my family's going to deal with it. I mean, right. I've just kind of made my little warning like, okay, don't read comments. You know, when there's rumors out there, sometimes some things are worth, worth fixing and other things are just like, you just let it go because it's just like here today, gone tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we're in Los Angeles, so there's always gossip anyway. I mean, that's like it doesn't life. have to be on the internet. Yeah, life so. is high school. Like, we're back in high school, middle school. <laughs> like, you and I know that no matter what, in middle school, high school, everybody makes up rumors, they make up stuff. It's just, you know, it keeps people, it keeps people excited, it keeps them going. But as long as they're talking, if they're not talking, then we got a problem. <laughs> we have a problem, but we have to accept the fact that not everyone's going to love us. Yeah, yeah. It's just and if we do that, then we could. Play it a little bit cool. It'd be cool if they do like <laughs> Team Danielle, Team Tina, Team Lizzie. <laughs> I'm That's gonna sell those t-shirts, <laughs> right? We may or we may not have a uh, tick tick tick. I know, right? <laughs> Must, somebody might just like only one of us. We'll see, <laughs> you know. But I feel like we're relatable, and that's what makes it special. Like people are gonna feel like they can relate to at least one of us, mm -hmm. you know, in some way or another, depending on where you are in your life. Exactly. Right? So.